to next part of unit 5 that is transform superset in this we are going to learn the supervised learning what is supervised learning it is the machine learning task of inferring a machine function from labeled training data the training data consists of a set of training example so in supervised learning a pair consisting of an input object and we know the desired output so based on the desired output we can vary the input value so you can uh, use this when we know the required outcome of a set of input features for example if you want to prepare a bread jam then you have to purchase bread as well as jam if you are not having bread or jam then we cannot have the bread jam sandwich so if you investigate this data set you can easily spot from the indicator that what is bread and what is what is jam the data science model you could perform in this is known as the supervised learning now Let's see what is unsupervised learning. Unsupervised learning is the machine learning task of inferring a function to describe hidden structure from unlabeled data. This encapsulates many other techniques that seek to summarize and explain key features of the data set. For example, if you take a bag of marbles and you want to distribute the marbles into three different sets based on some size, color or material. Now we don't know any further here or we don't have any previous information of how we have to group the marbles because all the marbles are of different color, shape and size. So, Splitting of marbles is an example of an unsupervised learning. Reinforcement learning. It's the area of machine learning inspired by behavioral psychology. That is concerned with how software agents so, should take action in an environment so as to maximize more or less a notion of cumulative reward. This is used when several different areas such as game theory, SWAM intelligence, ticket control theory, operation research, simulation based optimization, multi-agent system statistics and genetic algorithm is used specifically in game theory how rewarding pattern is used that is the reinforcement learning bagging data bootstrap aggregation also called bagging is a machine learning assemble meta algorithm that aims to advance the stability and accuracy of machine learning algorithms used in statistical classification and regression. It decreases variance and supports system to avoid overfitting. Random forest or random decision forest are an assemble learning method for classification and regression that works by constructing a multitude of decision pre at training time and outputting the results the mode of the classes or mean prediction of the individual trees we can have the regression analysis of individual trees and we call it as random forest so random decision forest correct for decision trees habit by overfitting their training data set computer vision it is a complex feature extraction area but once the features are exposed uh, exposed then it becomes simple matrix values natural language processing it is now very important because we are using different devices like alexa cv or you can we are also having the mm, text to speech recognition so natural language processing is the area of data science that investigate the process as human beings to communicate with each other this covers main mainly written or spoken words from that form bigger concepts your data science is aimed at intercepting or interacting human to interact with the natural language first comes the text based if we want to process text we must set up an ecosystem to perform the basic text processing so we can use the library nltk and we can install it by writing conda install anaconda NLTK and the library will get installed on our computer and it will help us to understand do the natural language processing. Speech based recognition here the major demand for speech to text conversion is to extract features that means when we speak then at that time it will try to extract the text from our speech and for this we also need the speech recognition library so we can install it by writing the command install minus c conda and we install the speech recognition library neural network neural network also known as artificial neural 
network are inspired by human nervous system. So they simulate how complex information is observed and processed by the human system, just like human neural network learn by example and are configured to specific application. So one step by step they learn, like let me offer an example of feature development for neural network here. Three colors of balls are present, that is blue, yellow and pink. And we have to select a particular color for the dog to play with the ball and for that we have to extract the feature. So uh, is the ball color blue? It may have two answers, yes, no. Is the ball color yellow? We have two answers, yes, no. And is the ball color pink? We have two answers, yes, no. Now, neural network simply, what it is doing, yes, no values, it is converted in, into zeros and ones. And then it is trying to solve the question. So, it is useful, but we have to also think logically whether the question is correct or not. Now, gradient descendant, gradient descendant, it is the first order iterative optimization algorithm for finding the minimum of a function. To find the local minimum of a function using gradient descendant, one takes step proportional to the negative of the gradient of a function at the current point. Regularization strength, it is the parameter that prevent overfitting of the neural network. The parameter enable the neural network to match the best set of weights for a general data set. The common name for this setting is called epsilon parameter, also known as the learning rate. Simple neural network, we have to understand the parameters and how the simple neural network is created and then we can create it using the python file and python editor so we set up the ecosystem we import numpy as np we import um, sklearn data sets and linear model and we also import, import the matplotlib for the same now tensorflow tensorflow it is the open source software library for numerical com computation using data flow graph flow in the graph represent mathematical operation while the graph edges represent the multi-dimensional data arrays communicated within them. The flexible architecture allows to deploy computation to one of the more CPUs or GPUs. Basic TensorFlow, it has certain equations which can be solved like the one example is given that A equal to B plus C into C plus 2A. And another equation is also given so we can calculate for B equal to 2.5, C equal to 10. We have to open the Python editor, import TensorFlow as TF, create a TensorFlow constant and that is const equal to tf dot constant 2.0 name is constant so accordingly we can work on the python editor so with this we have come to end of our chapter number 10 in unit number 5 thank you